This question is from Ashwani Kumar Prabhu. He asks, if a married devotee works hard to provide minimum requirements for his family, is he under the influence of Rajoguna? Thank you, Guruji. As long as we don't have the knowledge of Bhagavad Gita, if we don't, if we are not Krishna conscious, if we are not surrendering ourselves unto Krishna, so then we are always influenced by the mode of modes of nature. So working hard to maintain the family is fine, but we need to have the knowledge of Bhagavad Gita and we should know that Krishna is the Supreme Personality of God and our goal is actually to please Krishna. So for that reason, even maintaining a family is a Krishna service. We should be able to see that way. So that way we will not be greedy. So we will not be uh, having uh, lust and uh, anger. So those things we will be able to free ourselves when we when we are able to see each and every activity as a service to Krishna. That's what is very important. Even maintaining a family. We, when uh, Krishna is asking Arjuna to fight in the battlefield for Krishna. So that way, whatever we do, it should be, we should be able to connect with Krishna. So then, then we are we are doing the right thing. Otherwise, if we if we think that, oh, I'm so busy maintaining my family, I don't have time right now. Let me finish all my family obligations and then let me come come and study Bhagavad Gita, become a devotee of Krishna. So that means we are we are actually uh, failing. We are not doing the right thing. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Guruji. Now my point is that a devotee, a devotee who is uh, uh, means a devotee means he is uh, reading Mah uh, Bhagavad Gita and also he is in trying to be in uh, Krishna consciousness. But yes, other, yes, but yes, other yes. but he has to also survive by working hard for the family. Yes, now sir. in that uh, condition he goes for materialistic uh, objects and all that. He is connected to that. So is it he is he under under the influence of Raju Guna? Is, if he is, that's what if he considers that maintaining a family, working, going everywhere for Krishna, if he's always connected with Krishna, then not under the influence of Raju. Okay. See, as long as we remember Krishna, we are free from gunas. When we forget Krishna, we are immediately controlled by the gunas. That's it. It's very simple. It's very, very simple. When the moment we forget Krishna, we are under the control of the modes of nature. The moment we, the, the only time when we remember Krishna, we are free from the modes of nature. That's it. But sometimes this work also, you see, takes away from the, the from uh, chanting and all this. Sometimes it happens. That's why. That's why. That's why we need to uh, always study Bhagavad Gita, keep ourselves in constant contact with Krishna. With, like for example, we are studying Bhagavad Gita every day, so this keeps us in Krishna consciousness, reminds us uh, Krishna consciousness every day. You you must be now noticing that over a period of time how we are progressing. Correct. There is a growth. Correct in our consciousness, in our in our. Uh, daily life, all those things, it's, it's, it's happening, correct, bro? Yes, very, uh, very right, he said. So, yes. it is opening our, uh, our eyes yes. uh, towards all this, uh, what uh, the different modes of nature are working uh, upon, uh, having influence on us. Thank you, Guruji, for the nice explanation. All busy only, probably. Everybody is working. Even I do have full-time work. Everybody is working. Yeah. But we are doing for Krishna. That is the main thing. With the knowledge of Bhagavad Gita, it will happen. Krishna is right. mercy. Thank, Thank you very, very much for the nice explanation. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Guruji. Hare Krishna.